Helping you live healthy, a new study suggests a spray used for eyelid treatment can kill the coronavirus. The specialty drop is used to kill normal germs that form mites on the eyelid, causing issues. But now researchers hope it will help prevent someone from catching COVID-19 if the spray is used routinely. Joining me now to discuss this is Dr. Jerry Robin. He's the chief optometrist at Bowden Eye and Associates. Good morning. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Hey, good morning. My pleasure. You know, so we tend to, as we hear all the time about the importance of wearing masks to protect me, for example, from you by wearing a mask covering my mouth and my nose. Can you catch this virus through your eyes? Yes, absolutely. We know that uh, that is another vector that uh, the, the COVID-19 virus can enter the body. So it's not only uh, respiratory inlet, but also ocular. So let's talk about this spray. It's um, Avanova. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, that's correct. Avanova. So, uh, it is yeah, pure it hypochlorous work? acid. It's pure hypochlorous acid. It's been around for years. Uh, it's something that we've used in our practice to help our patients suffering from dry eye disease, meibomian gland dysfunction, blepharitis, which is eyelid inflammation. And it's a daily uh, spray that uh, we educate our patients, appropriate patients, to use uh, over a closed eyelid, uh, a few sprays a day. And uh, it's been known to be effective to kill bacteria, fungus, and even viruses. But a recent study uh, came out uh, on July 13th that it has been confirmed it does kill the virus that causes COVID-19. So uh, you, you hear hypochlorous acid and you think, this is going to hurt me. Right. Uh, are there any side effects? Not really. So again, you know, we would recommend that people uh, uh, see their uh, eye care provider and have it recommended for them. But it is something that we generally will use on nearly every patient, uh, even patients prior to surgery to sanitize and clean the area. Uh, it, there is no uh, burning, stinging, no smell, uh, no uh, 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 afterward effects of, of putting it on there. Uh, it's just like spraying water on there. And uh, you hear the word acid, but you have to remember there are many different acids out there. For instance, vinegar is acetic acid and, and even has a little bit of a more potent pH than this. And so and don't let the, the word acid uh, yeah. turn you off on this. So uh, and I'm trying to understand how you would use this if you wanted to, to kill the virus, if somehow it is on your face as an example, or could this be something that you apply, let's just say in the morning, and it protects you throughout the day should you encounter the virus, kind of walk through and encounter droplets or something from someone else who's infected? Sure. So, you know, we need to be careful. This certainly is not the cure we've all been waiting for. This is not a treatment for COVID-19. It is just another layer of protection. And so traditionally, we would tell our patients to simply apply it once a day over the closed eyelids. Uh, I have one here, so I'll just kind of demonstrate. Uh, you just close your eyes and spray, spray, and then I kind of go like that. And then you don't even have to wipe it off. Uh, it's an on-contact kill. Uh, but the study showed that at uh, 60 seconds, there was a, a total eradication of the COVID-19 oh, okay. on the surface. Uh, you can also spray it onto a, a cleansing uh, cloth and use it to wipe off the eyelids. But again, you, you don't want to wipe off the cleanser. You want it to stay on the skin. Uh, but now since we have this information about its effect against COVID-19, uh, we are uh, educating our patients that they could spray it on their entire face uh, more than once a day if they wanted to. We wouldn't want anyone to get crazy and do it every hour or something like this. But maybe uh, as soon as you got home from being outside or something like that. And, and we just want to want to clarify too, uh, you know, people are going to be watching this, want to run out and buy this. Do you need a, pres a prescription? How do you how do you get something like this? And, and we don't want to encourage everybody, like you said, spraying it on their face every hour. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we would recommend it to be under doctor supervision. Uh, you can ask your eye care provider about it. Uh, we do have it available in our practices, our three locations throughout town. Uh, it's not something that every eye care provider is going to provide. Uh, it's for more specialty clinics that specialize in the treatment of dry eye disease and ocular surgery like what we do. Uh, but it is also available on avanova.com. But again, we do encourage people before they start a medical product like this, to have uh, supervision of their doctor. It is not a prescription, uh, but it is something that uh, it should be used under doctor supervision. 
Dr. Jerry Robin with Bowden Eye and Associates. Fascinating. Thank you for joining us. Do appreciate. We'll continue to watch this move through the uh, the approval system. Thank you for your time, and we'll be right back. Thank you.